What is up you guys? Welcome back again to my channel. For today's lesson, ay week 2 na tayo ng quarter 3 ng grade 7 math. Yan. So last time, tinuruan ko kayo ng undefined terms of geometry, subset of a line, and also kinds of angles. So for today, ang lesson natin ay kinds of lines and angle pairs. So ano ba natin natin? Pumunta na tayo sa ating lesson. So umubo na tayo sa lesson natin. Ngayon, ay, ang tuturo ko sa inyo ay kinds of lines and angle pairs. Kinds of lines muna tayo. So the first one is parallel lines. So we have here line H and line G. Feature markings for parallel lines is yung arrowhead na parehas kay H sa kay G. So, kapag po ganyan yung markings sa na nakita natin, ibig sabihin po, parallel po yung lines na yun. So, notation, H, tapos po yung dalawang slant line, ang basa po dyan is, is parallel to. So, pag binasa po natin yan, H is parallel to line G. Or, line H is parallel to line G. Definition of parallel lines. Parallel lines are coplanar lines that do not intersect or meet. So, ibig sabihin po, ang parallel lines po ay nasa isang plane lang at hindi po sila nagtatagpo or nagmi-meet. Ano po ba yung mga real-life examples na nakikita natin sa surroundings natin na parallel lines? So, kung may kita po natin yung mga piano keys, yung black keys, yan, parallel po sila with each other. And then, yung sa field po, yan yung mga linya po na white. Yan naman po ay also parallel lines because they do not meet or intersect. We're done with the first one. The second line is skew lines. So, the definition, skew lines are non-coplanar lines that do not intersect and are not parallel. So, tandaan po natin kapag skew lines non coplanar sila, meaning wala sila sa isang plane. And then, hindi sila nagmi-meet or nag intersect And hindi rin sila parallel. So, for example, this figure, line 1 and line 2 are skew lines. Kasi, magkaiba sila ng plane. Si line 1 ay nasa top. And then, si line 2 naman is nasa front na plane. And then, Hindi sila nag-meet, hindi rin sila parallel. So, yan ang isang example ng skew lines. So, for real life examples, we have here, kung mapansin po natin merong dalawang plane, yung blue line is nasa isang plane, and then yung green line naman ay nasa isa ring plane. So, yung blue at saka green line dyan ay skew lines because they are non-coplanar and they do not meet and they are not parallel as well. The next one is, dito sa table na to, so yung side, yan yung line na violet, and then the next one is yung red na line. So yung dalawa po line na yan ay magkaiba ng plane, hindi sila nagtatagpo at hindi rin sila parallel. Therefore, they are skew lines. So yan po yung pangalawa. Let's move on to the third one, intersecting lines. So the definition is, intersecting lines are two coplanar lines that have a common point. So, tandaan natin pag intersecting lines, dalawa po yung linya na yun, and dapat nasa isang plane. And, nag-meet sila, nagtagpo, kaya they have a common point. Ang tawag po sa common point na yun is point of intersection. So, we have here line CD and line BA. So, the notation is CD and BA, or line CD and line BA, intersects at point O. Therefore, point O is the point of intersection of lines CD and BA. So, basta po pag nagtagpo yung dalawang linya, automatic po, yun po ay intersecting lines. And, yung meeting point nila, or kasan sila nag-meet, is point of intersection. So, for the real-life examples, we have here, ayan, kung mapansin po natin, yung release po ng trend, yan, nag-meet po sila. And then, the other one is yung 
highway, ayan. So, nag-meet din po yung dalawang highway. So, yan po yung mga example. Or marami po po tayong example, pero nagbigay lang po ako ng mga few examples in real life ng intersecting lines. And then, let's have the next one. So, perpendicular lines naman tayo. So, ang definition niya is, perpendicular lines are also intersecting lines. So, tandaan natin yan. Ang perpendicular lines ay nagtagpo din. Nag-meet yung mga lines na yan. Ang kaibahan nga lang niya is, or yung special sa kanya is, it forms a right angle. So, kung mapansin po natin yung nasa line L at line K, meron pong maliit na uh, parang rectangle dyan. So, yan po yung, pag meron po tayo nakitang ganyan, ibig sabihin po, right angle po yung um, angle na yun. So, in notation, line L is, yan, kapag po binasa po natin yan, is perpendicular to. So, line L is perpendicular to line K. So, syempre, meron din mga real life examples ng perpendicular lines. Uh, by the way, yung right angle, alam naman natin na 90 degrees yung measure nun. So, automatic, pag meron tayong nakita yung right angle, 90 degrees po yung measure nung angle na yun kung saan nag-meet yung perpendicular lines. So, for real life examples, so we have here, ayan yung parking lot. So, yung, ayan yung yellow line, tsaka yan, ayan, nag-meet sila at exactly uh, 90 degrees. So, may na-form na right angle, therefore, that is an example of perpendicular line. And, Another one is yung window. Ayan, yung sa window. So, yung patayong linya at saka yung pahigang linya, nag-meet sila. Ayan, at exactly also 90 degrees. So, therefore, this, those lines are perpendicular lines. So, meron pa pong natitirang isang linya pa. So, tawag naman dun is concurrent lines. So, pag sinabi naman po natin concurrent lines, by definition, concurrent lines are three or more coplanar lines that intersect at exactly one point. So, pagka intersecting, dalawang linya lang po yun. Pero pag three or more na nag-intersect at exactly one point, concurrent lines po ang tawag. So, tandaan natin, dapat po they meet at exactly one point. Pag po marami linya na nag-meet, pero hindi sa isang point lang, Hindi po yung concurrent lines. Dapat po, they intersect at exactly one point and three or more lines or three or more coplanar lines dapat. So, for the real life examples, so we have here, ayan, kung mapansin po ninyo, yung flag po yung ng United Kingdom, ayan, yung mga lines is three, ayan, three or more yung lines na yan. So, therefore, co uh, concurrent lines sila. And then, the next one is, and so yung mga relays, and they meet at uh, exactly one point. Yung mga ibang linya dyan, pero hindi po lahat ha, yung ibang lines dyan. At three or more lines that intersect at exactly one point. So, yan po yung mga example or real life examples ng concurrent lines. Yan. So, let's have an activity. So, yung mga linya na naran natin kanina, parallel, they do not meet. Skew lines, non-coplanar, not in, na, they do not intersect, and not parallel. Pag intersecting, they meet at exactly one point. Two lines dapat. Perpendicular, two lines that intersect and form a right angle. And then the last one is concurrent lines. We're in, it should be, or they should be three or more coplanar lines that meet at exactly one point. So, for this activity, you have to tell whether the lines na given sa figures ay parallel, skew, intersecting, perpendicular, or concurrent lines. So, let's see. Let's have the first one, wheel. Ayan, yung mga lines po sa wheel. So, yan po example of concurrent lines. Kasi, Three or more lines po na nag-intersect or nagtagpo dun sa center. Then, the next one, yan. So, yan po ay um, nag-meet at exactly one point yung dalawang line. So, therefore, intersecting lines. And then, the third one, ayan. So, 
Okay ba ng plane? Yung dalawang lines, they do not intersect and are not parallel. Therefore, skew lines. The fourth one will be, ayan, so yung minute hand tsaka yung hour hand ng clock. Ayan, they meet at exactly 90 degrees. So, nag-form ng right angle. So, therefore, this is perpendicular lines. O, or, those lines are perpendicular. And then, the last one. So, tignan po natin yung mga yellow lines sa field. So, they are, they do not intersect. Therefore, parallel lines yan. So, yan po yung mga iba't ibang lines na inaral natin ngayon. That is all for today, guys. Salamat po sa panonood ng aking video lesson. Kung nais nyo pong matuto ng mas marami pang mga concepts sa mathematics, please subscribe to my channel and also click the notification bell so that you will be notified sa mga susunod ko pang mga video lessons. Shoutout po sa mga sudyante ko and also sa mga co-teachers ko and sa mga friends ko. That is all for today. Stay safe and God bless you. Bye-bye! Thank you.